In this lesson, we're going to be talking about the transform panel in Lightroom Classic CC. All really the transform panel does for us is help to correct some of the lines and the other geometric properties of our images. Now, it used to be actually in the lens correction panel of Lightroom, but in some of the later versions of Lightroom, it was moved out into its very own panel. And this is going to give us a lot more control over the transformative properties of our pictures than it was in the actual lens correction panel. So let's jump into the lesson and learn how we can correct some of those lines and those properties in our images right inside of Lightroom. A close cousin to the lens correction panel here in Lightroom Classic CC is the transform panel. Now this is something kind of new that has came about in some of the later versions of Lightroom. It used to be transform was included with the lens correction panel and now it has its very own little dedicated panel here. Not to be confused with the right click option, transform, if you right click on your image it brings up this drop down and you have the uh, possibility to rotate or flip the images. That is not the same thing as transform, even though you can do some of the same things here in this panel. What transform allows us to do is correct perspectives and to level out our images. And it's especially useful if you do a lot of landscape or architectural photography. And since we're looking at a picture of a four x five large format camera, I will say that for architectural photography, a lot of dedicated architectural photographers use tilt shift lenses, and that allows you to correct some perspectives in camera. So before we get started here in the transform panel, let's take just a second to talk about the way you can actually control perspectives inside of your camera. A lot of the perspective corrections that you're gonna find in the transform panel of Lightroom Classic CC were born from this perspective correction using a tilt or shift movement in a film camera. Now this is a four by five large format film camera, but you can get tilt shift lenses for your regular DSLR today. But for our example purposes, I'm going to use this really just because I love old cameras. The first movement we're gonna show is what is called a tilt, and that is for correcting the vertical perspective of lines and let's say architectural photography or any kind of picture to where you have a skewed perspective vertically. All that is done is literally a tilt of the front element of the lens or the front standard, either backwards or forwards for that vertical perspective correction. Now to correct horizontal perspective, you have something called a shift, and a shift is just the same thing as a tilt, but it is used to correct the side-to-side -side perspective in our images. All you have to do is to literally move the front standard to the right or to the left, and that is the exact same thing that is done in the transform panel of Lightroom when you correct for that horizontal perspective. Now for most of us who don't have a tilt shift lens, let's see how we can actually correct the perspective and level out our images inside of Lightroom. We'll start right off at the top here. These are essentially buttons that are preset leveling and perspective correcting tools. Some of them work well, some of them not so much, but it really does depend on your image. So feel free to experiment. Auto will do everything for you. You can see it corrected it pretty well, but not so much. We'll come back to the guided correction tool here. Then you have a level option, which will really just level out the horizons. Vertical helps correct some of the vertical lines. That's one of them that is kind of iffy, uh, depending on how, how your image is oriented. Uh, we'll not use that one here, of course. We'll talk about more of this white border in just a second. The full correction usually doesn't work too well, but then again, it might for your particular image. Below these preset buttons, we have some manual transform tools. And for me, for most of my work, these are what I use. I'm gonna tell you why. Even if you use some of these preset tools, most of the time you will have to go down here and adjust them manually. So usually if I need any kind of perspective correction, I just go directly down to these transform tools. And that's what we're gonna focus on here in just a second. Let's go back to this guided preset. This is what's called the guided upright tool and you can get to it by clicking on this guided button or clicking on the guided upright tool icon right there. And all you do to use the guided upright tool is draw at least two lines in your image. 
I'm going to draw this one across the horizon because I want that horizontally corrected. And I'll draw one vertically across the leg of this tripod because that is the vertical orientation that I want. And you can see it automatically corrects. But at the same time, it's still a little off. This looks really elongated. So I will go down here and use the vertical slider to correct that. And there we go. Again, you'll notice this white border. This is Lightroom making room, essentially, for the corrections that we're applying here. If you want to get rid of this, we will click Constrain to Crop, and Lightroom will automatically crop the image. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you do use Constrain to Crop, even if you reset your corrections, that image will stay cropped. And to change that, you would have to go back up here to the Crop tool. I'm going to reset. And for that reason, generally I leave the constrained to crop box unticked. Even though it makes some unsightly white borders, I'm free to go back and crop the image as I see fit instead of having to change some of Lightroom's cropping corrections. It just saves you a little bit of time. So let's talk about these transform sliders. These are essentially the ways we can correct the image, whether it's leveling, the aspect, the rotation, etc. Vertical lets us control the vertical perspective. You can see it's tilting the image to where everything up top here is being a little bit elongated, a little enlarged. Everything at the bottom is being foreshortened and compressed. The same way goes for this direction. As you can see, the bottom is now elongated. The background and the camera here is very compressed. The horizontal slider works in much the same way, except we're working on a horizontal axis. You can control the horizontal perspective. Rotate is pretty self-explanatory. You can either rotate it to the right or the left, depending on what you need to do some fine adjustments. The aspect slider is fairly useful for a lot of your photographs because it can control how essentially skewed vertically or horizontal your image is. If we go to the left, it's really going to stretch it out horizontally. And if we go to the right, it's really going to stretch it out vertically. And for landscapes, for architecture, the aspect ratio is really going to come into play quite a bit. These last three sliders, they are here, but they don't get a lot of use. Uh, they may for you, so don't discount them, but we're going to talk about them anyway. The scale controls how relatively big or small your image is, so consider that a zoom slider. And last but not least, the X and Y offset. We'll talk about the X and Y axis, if you want to think of it that way. The X offset will control the image left and right on the canvas. And the Y offset will control it up and down on the Y axis on the canvas. Again, these two sliders don't get a lot of use. Uh, most of the time, you're not going to be using those because if you do, uh, you're just going to be essentially cropping the image, and you can do that with a lot more control here with the crop tool. So let's take a quick look at another image and use the transform panel to make a little bit of corrections as far as the perspective and the lines of the image are concerned. This was shot at 10 millimeters, so it's kind of skewed. The lines aren't exactly vertical, especially here in the church. So if we want to use the guided upright tool, all we would do is either click on the guided button or that guided upright tool icon. And I'm going to draw a line right here at the corner of the church that I want to be vertical. And then I'm going to draw one at the very bottom where I want that to be horizontal. I'm going to release, and you can see that does a pretty good job right off the bat, but it still looks a little skewed, at least in my vision here. So let's control the aspect of that. And bring that to the right, just a tad. And let's click Done. Now you can see it's added a little bit of white border here when we control the aspect. So let's go ahead on this particular image, since it's not very much, and click Constrain to Crop. And that's going to take care of that right away. 
If there was a lot of white on the border here, we would of course want up to the crop tool. And if we look at the before and after, we can see that that looks a lot better. The lines are more vertical and horizontal, just a much more pleasing image to be working with. A quick tip about the transform panel here before we go. If you're shooting a scene that you know is going to need some corrections later on in post-processing using the transform panel, it's a good idea to shoot a little wider than you might need to, a little more of the scene inside, because if you do a lot of corrections, especially the aspect correction, you're going to have those white edges here that are going to need to be cropped off, and you stand a chance of losing some of the important aspects of your scene. So if you're going to be shooting for a little transform later, especially architecture, be sure that you shoot wider so you're not cutting off any of the picture that you're going to need later. When it comes to using the transform panel in Lightroom Classic CC, it really helps to understand some of the actual properties that go into correcting the lines of an image before you actually go in and do the work. That's where the tilt shift type of lens comes in in the perspective correction of photography. Once you really understand and grasp the concept, using the transform panel in Lightroom becomes really, really easy.